put it all over this car, Sean. I don't know if we'll you noticed, but I put a lot of stickers That's on That's what we were, I was like, I'm going to put some stickers on today. Sure. Yeah, I know. So these are our chili crunches. I'm just stirring them up and mixing them up. This is the chili lime crunch. It's got a little bit of lime powder, some pepitas, all the little crunchy bits, if you can see them. These like bigger bits are masa chips that we make in our little production facility. It's just masa flour and water that we press and fry and make all the crunchy bits. So we got chili lime. This one over here, still in its bags that I got to unload, is the spicy. So it's got some extra bullet chilies and a little bit of cayenne that makes it a little more spicy. And then this is our OG, the original that we started making, I don't know, however many years ago, like six years ago in our restaurants, but just put it into jars. But yeah, so the original, it's a um, our chili oil that we make in house all the time. We use a lot of Korean chili flakes, um, a little bit of bullet chilies. Um, as well as um, Szechuan peppercorns. So those are the main sort of flavors that you get in it. And then there's black sesame seeds, white sesame seeds. The original on the spicy has some of Hondashi in it, which gives it a little bit of that, like some of some saltiness, umaminess, that's so delicious. And then the chili lime, we wanted one that was vegan. It didn't have the Hondashi in it. Um, but we wanted to have something that just gave like a little bit different flavor profile. So this one is, it has, um, some wahio chilies and some ancho chilies for a little bit of like sort of smokiness and pepitas uh, and then lime powder so it's just like bright and really surprises you. Yeah. Okay, uh, we're going to set the line over here and then here we're going to do the pick up of the chili crunch and then we're going to do the food over there. Cool. Awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you. Look at that. <laughs> 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 Uh, we met um, in a cooking competition where she beat me and I got eliminated. Wait, wait who won the cooking competition? <laughs> oh, right. Wait, what yeah, she won the whole thing. Chicken. chicken. I know. I lost on a chicken competition. Uh, this was four or five years ago? Maybe five years ago. Five years ago? Yeah. Not very long ago. Yeah, that's true. Five years ago, huh? Probably. It's been a while. Oh, I see you. Oh my god, that guy is so tough. I'm just kidding. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah. that was me, you, Sarah. Sarah, Jonathan Sawyer, Jason. Okay. Michael. Michael's a lot of Nisha. Oh, yeah. That's fun. That's a great Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you guys got three. So uh, we were crafting. Let's see. 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 Yeah, it's a Senator Galvez got it. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, one sando, one rice bowl, one cucumber salad, and a side of rice, please. Hi, I'm Yan Chen. This is my wife. Hi, I'm Jess. And uh, I follow Chef Shota on Instagram and basically try to sign up for anything that pops up. I uh, was lucky enough to not be working right now because I'm a teacher. I'm on summer break. So we're going to get in right at noon and I'm very excited to eat some of this food. Yes. The spicy crunch stuff is probably going to change my life. So I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Do you guys live around here? Yes. 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 Cool. A lot of people, I was just talking about this with someone who don't know what it is. I don't really either. Yeah, exactly. I feel like I do that for a living though. This is like the study of human behavior, right? Yeah. No? I don't know. I was trying to figure out what the manga was. Oh. Which one? Going down again. This one's like, do you, you know, like down below. 
Wait, sorry. Yeah, 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 right there. This guy? Yes. The, uh, Shona and Jun Mike Do you know GTO? Or you know GTO? GTO. So oh, it's the yeah. first one we said. And that one became super like popular and then they made GTO off. Oh, I only like read GTO. Yeah. So it's like, okay, okay, the first GTO. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's like the OG story. I just love the aesthetic. I follow Shut Up. Uh, Instagram, yeah, and then also um, been a huge fan of Stephanie's um, first girl Top Chef winner, um, and then just would go out to her restaurant quite a bit in Chicago. So I was like, okay, perfect, <laughs> to get excuse to come into the city and pick up some food. You should take us out for some dinner later. Yeah. Hey, Chef. What's up? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. So we're gonna we're gonna do this. Um, that's kind of the main thing we do with a lot of small little sides and whatnot. We have kind of the menu printed out right oh, there too. Oh, we'll go check it out. Yeah, okay, of thanks. Course. That's perfect. Yeah. yeah, take it back to the couch and just chill out. It's gonna be great. Yeah. <laughs> How long are you in town for? Just today, okay. Yeah. It's like, hang out, do some videos, go eat. sorry for bothering you. No. I can see you, I can see you. I'm good in the meeting, he's like, where do you want to go? I'm like, you're not the one that's from the city. So since that one person's not picking up, we have one sando, two rice bowls, and one cucumber salad left, I believe. restaurants a lot and I've worked for some really wonderful chefs but I had a friend that was working at this new restaurant downtown Los Angeles rooftop she's like oh you should come it's really cool the chef's really fun and I walked in and Stephanie was there on the line and I'd worked with one of her friends um, Antonia who was on top of with her I worked at one of her restaurants, and so when I heard that it was Steph's restaurant, I was like, oh my gosh, first female to win Top Chef, she's now an Iron Chef, she won a James Beard Award, so she's this decorated, successful woman. So I got the job, and then one day I just walked up to her and I was like, hi, I'm Marlena, and I introduced myself, and it was really cool because I saw something, it was the first time I saw someone acknowledge me, and all of these things that I've done with my life, and she was like, would you ever want to work with me outside of just this restaurant? And I was like, please say more. <laughs> and it just kind of blossomed from there. It's really cool to be working for someone who is super supportive of me and all I do and recognizes my strengths and like champions me as a woman too. She being a woman and a very successful woman. Um, I'm just super grateful that we did meet and that we're here now. Anyways, <laughs> yes, recap. That was fun. That was fun. Yeah. Thanks for coming to Seattle. Thank you. You look good in this t-shirt. Right? I'm going to keep it. <laughs> Your team is awesome. So many fun people came by. A bunch of people that moved here from Chicago or like have been down to LA. They're all like, open a restaurant up here. And I said, no, we'll just come and cook with you instead. What's the next one? <laughs> we got to do one. We have to do smash burger chili. That is true. Smash yeah. burger chili. Or it also is really good on pizza. That is true. <laughs> Pizza Chili Crunch, coming soon to Seattle. <laughs> See you guys soon.